Stephen A., that, that's fair. And let me preface what I'm about to say by the fact that I think I, I understand the situation as well as a man can. Okay. When I was a small boy, I saw my mom beaten and bruised. And I was helpless to do anything about it. Imagine seeing it now. Mm. So when I heard about what Mixon had done, without the video, my first reaction was fury. Because I had seen it, I didn't have to imagine it academically like a written description would be. I think where we have a disagreement is in how Bob Stoops handled it back then. Because back then, he thought like a coach thinks, which is, I promised the parents of this kid, Joe Mixon, that I would treat him like my own son. The ugly incident happened, it was ugly. Is it something that can be come back from? Stoops thought yes, because this was a guy that was a good kid in Stoops' mind who made a bad mistake. He wasn't a bad kid who did something you would expect. Mm -hmm. He didn't just sit him out for a year. He made him go through a long series of steps with zero margin for error for Mixon and made him earn his way back. And Mixon's a better young man for it. And that's what we're talking about. Some things you can't come back from. But I think now, and this is what Stoops said, today because of this Mixon video, the Rice video, Baylor, Greg Hardy, et cetera, now the margin for error for who gets a second chance and who doesn't has dramatic. changed. And that's a good thing in this way. If it prevents it from happening, if somebody thinks twice before doing it again, then I'm down for it. I don't even want to add anything to that. I think that was just right.